anytime we see a, a uh, increase in our drug offenses, there's usually a, a coinciding offense like a, a burglary or a robbery that goes with that. Stolen cars, robberies, and shoplifting, a few of the crimes becoming more common in the Valley. Thank you for joining us tonight. Crime in Fargo is slightly up from last year. Police say the crimes aren't targeted at a specific location, but rather spread across the city. Back in December, police said crime was down 14 percent. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Nicole Johnson explains what's behind the drastic change. The numbers we were reporting back in December um, were these categories that we felt we could make an impact in, and we weren't reporting the crime as a whole. Crimes thought of the more serious type, like burglary, arson, or assault, are down in Fargo. But crimes like shoplifting, drugs, or criminal mischief are up. Some of the major concerns, cars being stolen and robberies on the rise. Police say many have been fueled by drugs. Not centralized to one area. They're pretty spread out throughout the city. Uh, so it's hard for us to have real proactive enforcement. In other words, to have our officers be more conscientious about it because it's something that occurs throughout the city. Um, so what we really need to do to try to get a handle on that is more education with the public. Police have been responding to more 911 calls, almost twice as many since 2009. A lot of times we'll have more calls for service just because of the population growth. A growing city with the growing rate of sexual assault. The systems we have in place now make it far, far easier for victims of those types of crimes to report those. And that's what we want to happen. We want to know about these things when they happen. Um, as a result of that, however, sometimes our statistics uh, demonstrate that as well. Police say in the coming months they're going to focus on educating the public because crimes that are on the rise are ones they believe the victims aren't protecting themselves. Nicole Johnson, Valley News Live. DUI arrests have decreased in the Valley. Police say there are two different ideas as to why. Either people are driving drunk less or there could be less enforcement due to lack of staffing. We spoke with Fargo Police Chief David Todd last night, and if you want to hear from him, log on to valleynewslive.com and click on Point of View. A major drug